afternoon all. Just wanted to go through uh, just a handful of really good moments from from the weekend and kind of walk through uh, some of the details and, and what made them good. Um, so the first one we'll look at is you know us beginning on one side of the field, progressing down the other to find a better better space and situation. So as we watch Lee, you know, this first pass Lee makes is just emergency, right? But when she gets out of pressure, and now we start to find the players that can get their head up and find the space. And we continue to be patient based on where the space is. Anna attacks into the width. And we get a service in the box in a pretty good situation for Maya to bring the ball down, coming inside an attempted finish. So if it's more about how this begins, okay, a clearance, you know, defensively, we, we do our work to come and win the ball back. Lee makes that exit, kind of that getting out of trouble pass, and now Sid's able to get her head up, and now the switch is on. This piece right here is the important part. We didn't stay over in that space after we made that exit pass. Okay, the next one, um, good example, Lana is able to step forward, intercept here, makes a good interception, and I know you'll see here a little bit, like, a little unhappy about some of the movement, um, but the numbers in the space really wasn't great. So spinning out and, and switching was the right choice. Uh, shout out to Emily Holzman for dropping in and covering for Lana, which is good for positional balance. Lee reads where the space is and the pressing cue, which forced her inside. And this is you know where Maya is able to twist, turn, get herself facing forward and attract all those numbers. And now we're off. If you look at it, we do have almost a 3v3 or 3v4 coming at him. Sid's able to take the player and bring her inside. But again, if we look at the positive being momentum, where their number's at, if you look at where their back line is, so yeah, Lana carries into the space, not really threatening, not prepared to do much here. So spinning out and trying to go the other way was the right choice. St. Scholastica worked hard to cut out the ball to the wing back. So again, she bends her run to block that off. Lee comes into that space and we're able to find Maya dropping in. So our next one, uh, you know, I think this is a learning plus positive. So if you watch this, we just played down the left. Lauren's going to put us back onto that side and kind of see what happens as it kind of unravels a little bit. We get the ball turned over. There's a lot of numbers. We're going to win the ball back again. And just kind of watch how we continue to try to play into that space. Another turnover because their numbers are still there. We haven't done anything to move them out of that space. We fight hard, good pressure from Adela to win the ball back. And now finally we get our head up. And now look at how our picture changes. Look at the space. And this is quite a touch, by the way, from Emily Hillis to deal with that. But now, if you look at the space we have to play, now we're in the whole field. Now we can get our head up and find good solutions. And this is a good pass. And the only thing missing here, you know, is that bump set and we play out to sit and we're in. Got a little clunky with the combination. But again, it's a very good example of we started on the left over and over. We finally recognized the time to get out. Um, and look at this. Now we're, we've used the whole space again. We're going forward. So think about how this began. And then once we finally got the switch and opened up the field, the opportunities that came from it. So a good example of kind of where we want to go compared to, you know, you know, some of our old habits and trying to break those. Another progression down the left. This was good, quick and clean. You guys are really making this kind of part of you know the habits that we form. What I like about this is Jalisa drops down to pick it up. She can't bounce out. She reads it because the their winger followed it. Now that little movement did create space for Katie. So Katie pops in, receives it, and now we start that progression down the line. Dela makes a good run. Um, you know, a tackle here. But if you watch, um, and this is kind of where we're starting to read and understand where the space is and what our solutions are. So Jalisa comes in. As soon as Jalisa pops in to get the ball, that winger follows Sid. She goes, all right, we're fine. We play again. Now there's space for Katie to pop in and that up back. And then there's that forward pass with a Dela's run. So another really good example of the concepts that we're talking about. Now, as we move to the second half, um, you know, this is kind of another good example of how we find that saying that free player, our wing back being the free player. Look, they try to cut out the ball to Sid. We're able to get a touch. And we're off and we're progressing. What I like about this is position of Maya. Maya doesn't necessarily just run off as that player was waiting for it. She sits in that inside window, is able to receive and turn. And now look at us progress down the other side.
a dangerous service. And even Tally steps in and tries to keep the momentum going, a good tackle. So Emily Hillis has another chance at goal. So if we watch from the beginning, what I like about this is good. The right winger doesn't want Lee to play out to Sid. So even if it's kind of a close one, we're able to get a poke out. And now Sid's the, that free player moving forward. Their right back was ready for us to play down line. Maya turns away. And what I like is Maya continues her run. So as that outside back step to Karen, Maya's looking to run in off of that, her back. And now this is where we let some of our players, you know, have their 1v1s and have their special moments. She creates a good service, tough for the goalkeeper. Um, and then props to Tally for making a tackle. Then Emily Hill is jumping on it. And obviously, you know, hoping for it, we put that in the back of the net. Hey, similar build up. And this is even one where it doesn't even quite come off as clean as we want. But it produces the same result. Again, she takes away Sid. Karen now arrives. And now as we're trying to carry forward, um, we get that same switch out to the other side. Maya is able to find um, Hillis, who can play out to tally and we go forward. And even here, we continue to progress, and then Tally's able to put a ball in. And so Karen starts this and is able to try to pressure and, and get on the end of it as well. So again, just some of the good sequences from the game on Saturday. Um, hopefully you see kind of where all the learning is coming together.